Let this car go. Wait, wait, let this car go by. F oh, we're good. Do you want to know what neighborhood is Tampa's top selling master plan community? Not one, but two years in a row and it's working on the trifecta here in 2023. Well, stick with me because today I'm pulling the curtains back to unveil this top dog community and I plan to hop into two mid-tier home models to give you an idea of what you can get if you're thinking of living here. The other day I was curious which neighborhood was Tampa's top selling master plan community. And so I did what everybody would do. I Googled it. And the first website I came to was RCL and Company. And I remembered that they put out an article every year ranking the top neighborhoods. Yeah, they put out an article every year ranking the top neighborhoods. And you could search back like 20 years. So I was shocked to see that Florida represented about 46% of sales amongst ranking communities. But what didn't shock me was that the suburb of Weston Chapel was the shining star and the community of Epperson led the charge. So here we are back in Epperson, the top selling community in 2021 and 2022 and working on yet another title in 2023. Now I've shot some pretty detailed videos on Epperson, which you can check out on my channel already. So today I plan to do things a little bit differently. I start by giving you a very, very brief overview on the amazing community, but then I wanna to tour you through two model homes that I think you'll like. If you are new to Epperson, it's an award-winning community with the nation's very first seven and a half acre crystal lagoon. It's an absolute massive pool centered in the community where you can meet your neighbors and enjoy everything from paddle boarding to grabbing a cold one at the swim up tiki bar. It was created so that you can feel like living in your neighborhood was like living in paradise. Now, as amazing as all this is, the developer didn't stop there. The community has Ultrafi Wi-Fi, giving all the residents top of the line Wi-Fi in the home and in hotspots throughout the community. And let's not forget about the golf cart lanes, community event calendar, dog parks, miles of running trails, and a new lakefront community center with a 27 acre bald eagle preserve. I can't make this stuff up. I mean, I'm good and all, but not that good. Now, there's a reason Epperson has topped the list and they aren't done building homes in here yet. So if you're interested in buying a home in Epperson, I am a licensed real estate agent and that's our bread and butter. So see that info on the screen, reach out to us any way you like and my team and I would be happy to help you and your family find your next home. Now to some fun stuff. Like I said, I shot this video, which is literally the best video about Epperson, but I didn't get the chance to take you through some homes. So at this point, Biscayne Homes, the luxury home builder in Epperson is nearly wrapped up building and Pulte sold out of their inventory, but DR Horton and MI Homes are still going strong. So I wanna take you through DR Horton's new modern series home. And MI has a pretty killer model, which is a small notch up in quality and nearly 3000 square feet. So stick with me. And at the end, I'll go over the prices of these models and let you know how you can get up to date inventory lists in here. All right, so first up to bat is DR Horton. They have done a fantastic job in Epperson so far, offering an affordable home product with some decent options, but they recently threw me a curveball. See what I did there? Vaughn into the windup in his first offering. Just a bit outside. He tried the corner and missed. They just announced their first in the region and exclusive to Epperson modern series homes. In this series, they took their already popular floor plans in their express series and they spruced them up a bit, adding a few upgraded features along with some modern twists. Right behind me is the Hayden model that you can tour right here in Epperson and you can see the pop of color on the exterior as well as some stone accents and the signature three glass front door. Now, follow me in and let me show you around. All right, so walking into the Hayden model, uh, you can already start to see some of the modern features, but right away to my right, we have this flex room, right? They set it up as an office or a den. Uh, that's, that's easy to see, but I'd like to say this is a flex space. Why? Because every homeowner has a different version of what they would use this space for. You know, I could see in closing this, making an extra bedroom if you really needed that, but realistically, it's a perfect office den. It could also be used as a formal dining space if that's something that you need but uh, you know, million uses. So let's keep going. Now, as we get into the foyer here, uh, and you could see that actually coming through that, that, that flex space as well, 
In the modern series, they have upgraded the flooring to a luxury vinyl plank. This is not the old vinyl that you're used to. This is a really nice upgrade. And it, and it works really well in Florida, right? Because you know, you could have an upgraded wood flooring, but that doesn't really work great with the humidity, especially if you have pets or high traffic areas, this vinyl will hold up really well. And it is a nice step up from laminate or tile. So in the modern series, it's an upgrade from the base express series with DR Horton. They run this luxury plank through the entire home and it's also great for wet areas. So you'll see it in the kitchen and the bathrooms as well. All right, so as we transition from the front of the house into the main area, this is where all the memories are made, right? So we have the kitchen, dining, family room, traditional open, big open layout, right? In the kitchen, again, we have some more of those nice upgrades that we see in the modern series with DR Horton. We see the uh, quartz countertops throughout the kitchen with a nice white cabinetry. We have all the matching appliances, dishwasher, microwave, and oven. Uh, really nice, deep, big sink. I love that because I'm a, I'm a cook. So, you know, those big pots and pans, it's really easy to handle that. Um, then we've got a nice walk-in pantry. So, you know, having that, it's great because you always need that storage. And this is something that you'll see throughout the home as well. A nice panel door that gives, again, that modern series, right? Um, on the back here of the kitchen, you're gonna see a backsplash that's not included in the Express Series. So that, again, that is an upgrade. So we've got the quartz and the backsplash panel doors. That's in addition to the luxury floors, right? So now as we come over here in the dining space, it's a really nice space. I wanna say it's 11 by 10. There's already set up with six dining chairs, so you can make this a nice cozy breakfast nook, or this would be great again for your dining space. It'll fit six, maybe eight, all right? So transitioning over to the family room, this is what I really like, right? It's nice and open, everything's there, but this kind of has a cozy tucked in area, but it's still plenty of space for a sectional. A lot of people have sectionals versus two small couches, so that'll easily fit here and there's plenty of walk space. And then, you know, it's not rare, but this does have a really nice big wall here, which is perfect to hang a TV. Nowadays, 65 inch, 75 inch, it's not rare to find in a TV for a home. So that's just a really nice wall to put that and everything is perfectly placed. So now let's, transition to seeing what's behind this big wall. All right, so right behind this big TV wall, we actually have a really nice feature, which is a downstairs full bedroom and full bathroom. It's great if you have you know, family over that can't go up the stairs, or if you have a live-in elderly. I know at one point in my life, uh, you know, we had my grandmother live with us. Uh, she needed some assistance, and my mom never had it planned for somebody to live in the downstairs space, but it was a blessing in disguise. So having a downstairs is a huge bonus if you ever have that. And we have a full bed, full bath. And then right behind this door, we have the garage, the entrance to the garage, as well as underneath the staircase storage. All right, so if you like the downstairs, just wait till we go upstairs because this home has zero wasted space. In fact, they actually gave a little bit extra room to the master bedroom, so I can't wait to show you that. Now downstairs, let's recap this really quickly. We have a flex bonus room up front. We have the kitchen, dining, family room combo. And then behind the TV wall, we have an, a full bedroom and full bathroom, which is a nice addition. Now, I just realized that not all of you have subscribed to my channel. So please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss our new videos. And if you're looking for a new home in Tampa, visit our website and reach out to us because my team and I would love to help you and your family find your next home. And we are the number one new home resource in Tampa. Now let's head upstairs. All right, so as we make our way upstairs, the sign says it all. DR Horton is one of the only builders in the Tampa area that actually builds both levels uh, with block, right? Cinder block. Uh, normally you're gonna have the, the first level with block, second level with wood, but they just go all the way up, giving you that, that sturdy house that the wolf can't blow over, right? So upstairs, um, right off the bat, we're gonna have the master this side, which we will circle back to in a second. We're gonna have bedroom number five, okay? We're gonna go to three and four on that side. We have bedroom number five, and we have the laundry room. Laundry room, this is a game changer if you have a full house because it's upstairs where all the bedrooms are, and you don't have to lug that laundry up and down. So love that it's up here and it's centralized. Now, as we walk into the, the second level a little bit more, we have this huge bonus room. This is, I mean, just a massive room that could be used as a second living space, play area, uh, could be a second office. I mean, just again, endless options with any kind of flex space in a home. Now, as we move along, master's over there, right? So now we're coming to this side of the home and we're gonna have two more bedrooms. This is gonna be bedroom number three, four, five across the way. So this bedroom right here, nice size bedroom, nice closet. Um, as we turn the corner, this is the upstairs AC unit. But in this, this uh, door right here, we have more storage, which is never have too much storage in the house. 
Right over here, we have a double vanity. You're gonna have the quartz countertops that match the uh, countertops downstairs in the kitchen. Again, a linen closet and then a full bath. And then we're gonna have the uh, fourth bedroom right in front of me here. Now, as we walk into the master, this is huge. Remember downstairs, I mentioned that the builder gave the master just a little bit of love. Well, this bedroom is like 20 by 13. So you could easily fit a master here TV on the wall, you know, that's big. But I mean, you can, you can have a sitting area on the other side of your king bed. That's how much space is in here. It's just a great open space. Now, as we come into the uh, master bedroom or bathroom, I'm sorry, you are going to see that vinyl tile I told you about. You're going to have your quartz countertop similar to the last bathroom. But here's a nice bonus. There's two walk-in closets. Not one, but two walk-in closets. So if you have that extended wardrobe, there is no problem fitting it all in here. During that tour, you probably noticed a few nice add-ons that aren't typically included with DR Horton's baseline, and that's because the Modern Series has some nice added upgrades. So let me give you a full rundown of what you can expect, then let's take a look at the other models in the Modern Series lineup. Starting with the exterior of the home and working our way in, at first glance, you can tell DR Horton really went for it, adding some nice variations to the exterior of these homes you will have a variety of elevations to choose from for each model. But a common theme between them would include the stone accent, the three panel glass door, and how about those paint schemes, royal blues, teal, red accents, they really freshen up the home. Moving inside the homes in the modern series, you will get an upgraded luxury vinyl flooring in the common area versus the typical you know, tile flooring, quartz countertops for the kitchen island, and in all the bathrooms, an upgrade from the granite backsplash in the kitchen, a more modern look with the interior doors, and most of the hardware like faucets and sinks in the home are upgraded as well. At the moment, the Modern Series by D.R. Horton is only offered in the Epperson community located in Wesley Chapel, Florida, but what a community if you had to choose just one. <laughs> Now let's kick things up a notch as we get ready to go inside MI Homes Dolly model. While this home is also five bedrooms, three baths, it is much larger with almost 3,300 square feet and you can expect a few nicer upgrades as MI Homes is considered a tier two home builder. All right, so it is hard to beat that outside elevation of this MI model. But you know, once we come inside, it's just the beauty continues. We, you know, right when we first walk in to our left-hand side here, we've got this formal dining space has like a mini tray ceiling, right? It's not real deep, but it still has that look. Love the paneled glass wall. And I mean, this you could fit 10 people at this table if necessary. So it's really nice formal space. And you're gonna need that in a home like this. The other thing is, you know, as I look up, all I see is the iron railing on the second story. Um, I see tray, ce tray ceilings with a nice, you know, you could have a nice chandelier there, but just all the light coming through from all the windows throughout this entire house just really brightens us up. And it, it, it's 3,300 square feet, but it actually looks much larger than that. So as we continue into the house, we have the staircase here and you can see the nice wood touch, but look at this kitchen. It looks really nice, really elegant. It's got a really nice granite powder, uh, pattern on the island here. But one thing I'll let you know is that there's a lot of upgrades here, right? MI Homes, Tier 2 and Builder, you can add different levels of package. So if you're not a granite person, they have plenty of quartz to choose from, right? If you don't like the tile, you can go with a more of a wood look or a vinyl or there's other options here. In the kitchen, one of the options uh, that I'd like to talk about is that, you know, I like built-in convection ovens. I'm a kitchen guy, so you can add the built-in wall convection oven, the double ovens. Um, and then you're going to lose these cabinets. However, there is another option to extend these cabinets further if you need more storage space, right? I think there's plenty of cabinets here, but to each their own. Now, you must have walk-in pantry, right? Uh, you have all the features here, all matching appliances. As we wor work our way this way, this is an added bonus outside of the builder, but really nice shelving. Love the built-in um, you know, bench area here. 
Me personally, I think I would put a different breakfast nook. I don't know that this matches so much with a bench, but it's still a nice added uh, you know, addition, the, the built-in. And if you did like that, then you, you could really turn this into a cute breakfast nook, I think. By the window, outlook in the backyard. If you had a pool, it would have great views. And you know, as we look outside, I can see that they have this little fireplace set up, uh, you know, for a little fire pit with it with the stone pavers. Just this really nice touch overlooking the pond. Now, as we move in from the kitchen, you know, I'm a sucker for tall ceilings and wide open layouts. This home has achieved that. You know, as we're coming in here to the family space, I mean, this can sit 10, 12, 15 people. Big sectional. You got a couple of love chairs here. Um, nice wall with a, with, that's probably a 75 inch television. So plenty of space in this home to stretch out and it has the big family vibes, right? Now, right over here on this side, uh, as we come in here, if you're someone that parks in the garage and you come in from this, this will be your entrance in the home. There's a nice mud room where you can hang up your backpacks, dog leashes, things like that. And then through that room, you're also going to have the laundry room downstairs and, and it has plenty of storage. You can also see some built-ins in there. As you follow me this way, again, if you have a pool, it is Florida. So a lot of these homes come with pools or you, you can add one on after the fact. Downstairs bedroom is a big bonus. You saw that in the DR Horton model. Again, we're gonna see it here with MI. And then we're gonna have a full bath. So that's gonna be your downstairs bedroom and full bath. And this will service as a pool bath as well. So you're not trekking water in and out of the house if you do come in from the pool. All right, so as I'm making my way up the staircase, one of the things that really stands out to me is the wood flooring that's really nice coming up the staircase and flowing through this second level. Uh, I love the transition from tile and it really gives a nice touch up here. Now I wanna talk about this space because it's stunning, but I wanna make my way first all the way over to the other side of this uh, second level here and we'll start here and make our way. Now over here, we've got bedroom number two and guest bedroom number three and they share a uh, full bath up here and that's gonna be bathroom number two. Now they have got double vanities, they have the matching countertops as the kitchen downstairs, and, and just an FYI, if any of the three bathrooms in the home, uh, you want to replace the tub with a, just a standing shower, that is an option with MI Homes. Now as we continue back into this amazing loft, you can see on both sides, there's just the stunning with the openness, with the, the railings, and, and you can see into the living space, and then of course you can see the foyer when we first walked in with that chandelier set up but uh, tons of windows. You can see all the light coming in this space, but look at this space. This is an amazing secondary living room. Uh, you know, tons of fun up here. You could tell how eclectic they were with the way they decorated this. And it just, it, it's perfectly designed and decorated for this space up here. I love the wet bar addition over here, the built-ins. I love the faux brick on here. It just, it's a really cool design. So maybe get some decorating tips from uh, MI Homes here. But, Huge area, huge massive loft. Let's continue this way. And uh, we have our bedroom, guest bedroom number four right over here. Great space up here. Uh, and again, you can see the, the design touches that they put here. They have the nice woodwork on the ceiling, nice little chandelier, and they have some really cool lighting on the walls. Really, really nice touch on my homes. Now, as we walk into the master space here, you know, one of the things I've, I've seen throughout this home is they've done some really good woodwork. These are easy things that you can add, you know, a lot of tray ceilings, a lot of the, uh, you know, the, the trim work throughout the door spaces and against on the walls. It just really adds that, that design and depth to the different, you know, walls. So not everything's just flat. I've also seen they, they've, they've added some wallpaper in the ceiling. I don't know that I've seen that in a while, but uh, again, just another cool design. And if you've seen my other videos, wallpaper is coming back a little bit here. Um, this piece stands out. It's not standard, but what an amazing corner piece to add into this massive room. This is a king bed. Uh, you know, we've seen this trend with the two um, windows on both sides letting in a ton of light, and there's no difference here. It's an amazing space. Uh, you know, you, you love those master bedrooms that are just grand looking, and this one definitely gives you that feel. Now, walking into the master bathroom, we've got a couple options and a couple different features here. You are gonna see the same cabinet. You're gonna have his and hers vanities with a nice little prep area. Uh, you know, simple but nice glass shower. But here's the deal, there's two walk-in closets. You've got a smaller walk-in closet on this side. Let's just call it the his and the hers. And then you've got a massive, larger walk-in closet over here, which is, you know, just a great space. Now, the features and the, the option changes. You can eliminate this closet and just keep that one, which is large enough. 
uh, for this home, you can move the bath, the toilet or the bathroom over to this side. And then if you can opt in for a soaking tub, which will go in that corner. So you'll have the um, shower with the soaking tub, but you will lose one of the closets. So you do have some, some changes if you'd like that. So when you heard me talking about tier one and tier two builders earlier, one of the biggest differences is that with a tier two builder, which is a semi-custom like MI Homes, you can come into the home after you choose your model and then you can start picking design features, right? So like right behind me, here are obviously the different models and these are just examples of different elevations, which is the exterior look of the home. Then you come over here and it's like, okay, we have different levels of flooring. So you might have your wood flooring or your vinyl that looks like wood or then your tile that looks like wood, right? So we have all the different levels there and you could choose that. Then you can have your iron railings or maybe you like the wood railings or maybe you want a white version, right? So then you pick your railings going up the staircase. And then last but not least, there's so many different varieties of cabinetry or granite countertops or quartz countertops that that's where this is really, they really start to help you envision putting the different color packages together. So you have a gold package or a platinum package or a diamond package, and you can come in here and choose all things. That's gonna be the, the difference is that it's semi-custom. You can't just go and move walls, but you can pick your color schemes and, and make the house a little bit more um, your style. As you can see, both home builders have great value with these two models. The Hayden from DR Horton will run you around 460 to 470,000 based on the most recent price sheet. And as you can see here, there are other models priced above and below the Hayden. For MIs, it's not as cut and paste because you have options and upgrades you get to choose as well as lot premiums, which can change things based on your taste. But this specific model starts at 507,000. And once you add in the upgrades, the increase will put you somewhere over 600,000. But again, the upgrades are based on your taste. And my homes offers models starting in the mid 400,000s and then working their way up. Now, how do you find what homes are available and their expected closing dates? Well, that's actually pretty easy. Contact my team because we have great relationships with the builders reps and we can get you accurate and up-to-date information. And we can also schedule you a tour of the community. Reach out because we are licensed realtors and would love to help you and your family find your next home. So until that next video, I'll catch you later. Messed up the pshh.